remember to go to my channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and of course, hit a like, comment, subscribe on any video, and here you can get any PS3 jailbreak tutorial and other tutorials that will come in the future. Thanks for watching. Hello guys, Abby here. Today I'm going to show you how you can install the latest custom store and how to make it work properly. This is without a USB and it's gonna be with FTP client and transfer from PC to the PS3. Now let's start on the PS3. We're gonna activate him, which I already did. Then you will have the Webman Games uh, folder. Hit Webman Setup then ps3 webman setup and here we're gonna activate the ftp server for our ps3 now go to xmb in gamepad shortcuts you will have this list go where it says cc api and ps3 mapping you will have this option disabled you're just gonna enable it then hit save here you will have this message will say click here to restart your PS3 system you're gonna click on the word here and this will restart the PS3 now that that the PS3 has restarted we're gonna go to settings system settings and we're gonna go to system information here you will see your IP address, which is the second line. Now we're gonna install, uh, activate HEN. Once HEN is active, we can change to the PC. Okay guys, now that we are on the computer, we're gonna download FileZilla client. This is for transferring files to our device. And on the right, you're gonna see all the downloads that you will have on the description below you're gonna have the wiki store you have, you're gonna have a fix so it works perfectly and all the licenses for all the games now we're gonna go to our filezilla client and input our ps3 ip address so mine is this one then you're gonna hit connect If it asks you this, you're gonna say always hello, okay. Here on the right, you're gonna have your PS3 device and all its, its files. You're gonna go to hard drive zero. From here, you're gonna search where it says packages. Here. Hit packages. And in here, you're gonna put the store and the fix and also the licenses if you're gonna download any games from the store put the licenses also here and wait for it to transfer all now we're all done see you on the ps3 now okay now that we are on the ps3 we're gonna activate hen then we're gonna go to package manager install package files ps3 system storage and you're gonna install the wiki store first now that this is done as you can see the store is not here now we're gonna go to package manager again install package files system storage and from here you're gonna install the fix EKG. Now that this is done, you're just gonna go up and from here hybrid firmware tools and restart the PS3 and hit quick restart. Now that the PS3 has turned on, you're gonna see the new custom boot logo for the PS3 and the new waved background.
first of all we're gonna activate him so to make sure that your star is gonna work perfectly you're gonna go to the sign in option sign in to your account and you're gonna activate this system for game downloads you're gonna account management from here system activation ps3 system and select game and activate system as you can see activation has completed now we can go back and we can go to the store in the store you will find games on the second option games and on the second and third uh, folder so you can see here all the games are here and here for them to work you're gonna need the licenses of the game which we already passed from the computer to our ps3 so package manager install package files you're gonna go to system storage and here you will have the licenses and the licenses this one is 4500 licenses and this one are for the new games licenses so you're gonna install both of them I already have this one so I'm gonna install this I already have this one and I'm gonna install this one After this installation, you're done for the store, you can download any game and it will work perfectly. As you can see I'm gonna download a game fast. Here, this one. Now that the game has installed, so now that we have installed our licenses, and activated our PS3 as primarily for games now you can go and start any game you have downloaded from the store and it should work perfectly 